Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Cone. It's a game by Defaultio, and it is amazing. I've played this a couple times in the past, and there were a couple of questions that I asked, and I have not... It, 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 it's open now, so you can go and hit the edit button and play with the code and the scripts, and it's, it's an open copy. So if you wanted to, you could actually go and see all the secrets. I encourage you, don't do that. I encourage you to go and play it, because... It is, a, it is a brilliant game. You'll notice there's no instructions. There's just a cone. And I think I'm going to need to be on the other side so you can see the commands and stuff. But yeah, tonight, basically, I'm just going to be speed running through here and I'm going to show you all the endings, or well, how to get all of the endings. And there's something special at the end that... I wanted to go check out. I've wanted to check it out. I've mentioned it in the previous videos, and I know that you're really wanting me to do development and everything else, but I'm going on vacation. And I thought the best way to announce that, let you know that, hey, there's not going to be any videos for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, maybe even Monday. Oh gosh, here it comes. No! I just got sucked up into the, uh, the cone collector. So, the best way to let you know that, hey, I'm not going to be producing videos. Come on, come on, there we go. Yep, I am on the right side. So, if you look down in the bottom right hand side, you can actually pick stuff up by holding shift. Yay! So, to open this door, I have to do this combination right here on the door. If you look on the floor, there's a combination of buttons that when you click on them, they correspond to the pattern. Okay, I can just move these over. There you go. Get that one off of there. Come here, you. You get on that one. You get off of that one. Come here. Uh oh, there we go. And you come off of that one. There we go. You got it. Ooh, it's kind of loud. Kind of loud. Oh, oh gosh. Let me out. Let me out. Am I stuck? I'm not stuck. Come on. Let me out. Oh, no. There. I, I, I saved one. I helped rescue one. <laughs> so, that was level two, by the way. Level three is the, uh, the little forest area. Did the lighting change? Maybe Roblox changed the lighting. It looks different. All right. I'm just this little cone. And the reason we can move is because our collar was broken a little bit. It snapped, but not quite all the way. So. That music reminds me of like the beginning of one of the Rush songs. A band from the 70s. 80s. Not really the 80s. I guess they were 80s, weren't they? More 60s and 70s. Let's we are the priest of the temples of the unexpected. <clears throat> come on, come on, get out of there. Oh. I hit the first level because you can't do anything. Come on. All right, here we go. Move this around all over town. Get out my way. I'm the cone, you see. Just a lonely cone on a lonely road. Making my way downtown. Moving fast and I'm a homebound. <clears throat> and it's an it's a nice and relaxing video. You know, game. Video. Both. Make sure you pick up a stick on the way. Oh, oh, don't drop it. Go get your stick there, buddy. There you go. Just a little cone. By the way, um, huge thank you to everybody who 
was attempting to exploit the um, admin panel and giving me advice about it on, on my game. And huge thank you to everybody who <laughs> got banned. Uh, I really do appreciate all your help and documentation that you did for me. And I've come to the conclusion it's, it's actually pretty safe. So from this point forward, all bans are legitimate. So please don't try to exploit. My admins have been giving the admin panel and they have control. So we have an actual storm going on to go right along with the storm that we're about to ensue. Oh, by the way, I just went into a hidden passageway behind the uh, the waterfall. So open the door and end with this stick. There you, oh, 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 get on in there. There you go. Go on. And shut the door. Can we shut it? There we go. Got to get the pressure up there. The pressure regulator, it's got to go up. So and if you look out through the window, Right there, that's the uh, the gate that we're going to be opening. So, whee. there it goes, rises up. What a great game! Brilliance, and it's cross-lingual, which means um, you can play this game without any language barrier because there is no language in the game. Well, I take that back. There's there's four languages. There's four words in the game. And that depends on what kind of uh you what kind of ending you get. But past that, there are no words. There are no instructions. It's just a puzzle game to figure it out. Which I think is amazing. Those are the best games. <clears throat> the, um... What was it? It's, um... Ori? It's not Ori. It's... Oh, It's a game for the PlayStation. Uh, even, even Shadow of the Colossus still had dialogue. So, but I mean, it gave a, a deeper backstory. This, you get a very big story with such, with, with no words. Like, you understand he's a cone, he escaped. And all of a sudden you see these symbols on the wall where they're triangles, but they don't have collars on them. So, you know that there's something more. Mm. Level three complete. Mm. By the way, do not expect this to be a fast speed run or anything like that. This is simply me trying to go through and find a secret that I wanted to see. I don't even know if I can get there. Um, I, I can't say that. I asked Defaultio, is there another ending? And then I gave him my suggestion and he said, there's something kind of like an ending. So, that's what sparked my curiosity. I gotta, I gotta go see it. So, because of that, you guys get like an hour and a half, two hour video of me waltzing through here, attempting to finish it. Now, normally you would go down and you would get the um, light, bring it up here, and then use that to come over here so you can see. Now because I know basically the layout, I'm not going to do that. I will take shortcuts while the rain gently pours down in the background. <laughs> gently. Alright. Just to speed things along, I'm going to drop down here, grab this, come on. Oh, come on, come on. Come on, then. There we 
we go. Then we have to drag this over. We're going to drop this off right about here. Now, Code, why did you drop the light off there? You, you'll see. There's something we got to do first. First off, this water. It's all clogged up. It's got a box stuck in it. So, let's pick that up. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Like I said, not a, not a speed run, but a run. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. By the way, if you were wondering how this is all done, uh, context service. If you're within the magnitude of a certain object, the context of the shift button appears and the on-screen display shows that you can actually hit that button, which is the left shift key. Uh, you can tell it's a body mover because every time it bumps into something, it's keeping the same position as our protagonist. Uh, sorry, protagonist is the, the avatar, the player. So right now, our cone is the protagonist. And protagonists are the, uh, the heroes of most games. So like, Link in The Legend of Zelda, he's the protagonist. Mario in Donkey Kong, he's the protagonist. And we're just going to use these wire snips and snip. Great. Now, electricity doesn't actually work like this. Please do not do this in real life. Plus, you're not a plastic cone. You don't insulate. You are made of mostly carbon. But the reason you need that... Blink. Well, you're made mostly of water, but all your atoms are carbon-based. That's why they say stuff like carbon-based life forms. <clears throat> now I know what that's going to generate. Code, do you believe in aliens? Well, um, no, but we also don't have uh, a big enough sample. Oh gosh, no, don't roll down there. It would be like me. It, space is a huge place. I mean, huge place. So for me to say, no, there's nothing else out there. There's absolutely zero zilch uh, that would be me being I'd be ignorant to say no absolutely not I would have to speculate that well there's no evidence to prove that there is other life forms or life out there but we also haven't collected a big data it would be like walking up to the ocean taking a glass of water looking like taking the glass filling it with some of the ocean looking inside and saying there's no such things as whales there's no whales in the in the universe or in the ocean very small sample that we've seen oh here this is what i asked him about and i said hey there's a tunnel and it's inside the sewer and i think i have a way of getting up to it what's inside he said something so, this could be a very excellent, good ending. Um, it could be uh, the secret society of the cones. Who knows what is up there and lies ahead for us. So, I'm just excited to try this game again. And I'm excited to talk to you guys. I've had a lot of new people coming into the... Uh, the discord and asking questions and be like oh my gosh code it's you yeah it's me don't forget you can join the discord and it's discord.gg forward slash code prime 8 by the way the further you get along here the harder it is to control in fact i think there's an invisible object pushing us you can never tell there we go i fell down <clears throat> you're supposed to fall into the water that's the next stage oh gosh I fell in now what dream state come on uh, oh it says updating updating lighting 
There's a small thing in the bottom left hand corner. You can't see it. I'm in front of it. Hello? 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 Okay. Whew. For a second there, I thought I had my audio completely off. Okay, so we have a brightness filter on. Or a focus filter. What I have to do is I have to come out here and touch the outside. Touch the wall. Get bounced. Boink. Let's run back towards the middle. And then as we run towards the middle, if you're squeamish or if jump scares kind of scare you, cover your eyes now. Fuck your ears. No, little cones, no. Oh look, we have jumpy abilities. Help us. What's happening? Oh my friends, no. The walls are closing in. Oh no. Like I said, he did a really good job with the cinematics. You, you can you can listen again. <clears throat> and no matter what you're doing right now, whether you're eating a snack, having lunch or dinner or, or breakfast, um, just sitting and watching, or if you're trying to fall asleep because you love the gentle sound of the rain and you think, <laughs> big lightning bolt as I say that, and you think that my voice is soothing and helps you relax so you can concentrate and go to sleep or not concentrate and go to sleep whatever the case may be thank you for being here thank you for being with me i'm excited <laughs> you sound so enthused Cody. i'm excited i am and i'm a nerd at heart like i am a geek and I'm proud of it. So when it comes to things like this, this is exciting for me. A lot of people back in high school, back in middle school, they called me weird and I hung out with my weird friends and I was okay with it. I got bullied a lot, but I also lived in a very small town with the small schools and we didn't put up with bullies all that much. We, uh, as a class, I think, learned how to deal with things a lot quicker than most other societies, schools, villages, towns, whatever you want to call it. I think we had 200 people in our graduating class. It was, it was probably less. So. And the clicks weren't really clicks. We all kind of got along with each other. So. To anybody who was my bully, I forgive you. And to anybody that I may have offended, I'm sorry. I do apologize. Uh, if you don't recognize the motors, those are from um, Metalworks. I gotta get that off there. There we go. Grab this little gear right here. Put that on there right there. Now I could pull this, but it doesn't work. We have to actually get up there and pull it ourselves. So come on. Everybody off. Get off. Get off of there. Alright. I'm just gonna go up this direction and drop. Yay! Oh dear. Oh goodness. What are you doing? No! Oh. And I'm free. Free Conan. Now, you could go the other way and jump through the maze and be all hardcore about it if you wanted to. I don't recommend it. Ugh, get off me. I just come back this way. It takes less time. And I don't think there's any difference to it. But we're just about to the first ending. 
Now that we have our jumpy abilities, we've got our cone off, we can move a little bit faster. Oh, shoot. Um, yes, I need one of these. Don't forget to pick up a box on the way back. Put it next to the trash can, just like that. And then do a jump, a jump, whoop, a jump, jump, a jump. And in we go. Breaking in. Grab one of these little boxes over here. And drop it just like that. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Was it stage four? Stage five? Stage five, I think. Or six. Or seven. I lost count, kind of. <laughs> okay. Can I grab these boxes? No, I cannot. Uh, oh, there's some little boxes. So to give you the storyline of uh, what's going on here, this is the factory where they make the cones. Free cones are delivered to the factory right there. They go across the conveyor belt into the green fog where they get inoculated, which just means put to sleep, kind of. Not really sleep, but it's kind of like when you go to the dentist and you just got to work on your teeth and it just kind of numbs you. And then they go down this little conveyor belt right here into a little turnstile that lines them up. And then that machine right over there puts the collars on. Once there's enough that have been collected up and collared, then he... I want to say he like default is to blame, but it's not. Then the company, the corporation, ships them out to be used on the streets as traffic cones. Come on, come on. I hope I can get this in the first try. Come on! Come on! Oh goodness, please work! Oh, that didn't work. Oh, okay. Okay, let's do it again. Do it again. Um, quick note, it is easier to carry stuff behind you when jumping up, so the object that you're carrying does not get in the way. Oh, 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 come on. Come on, and push, push. Oh, but you gotta come over a little bit. There you go. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh oh, no, 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 no. No, no. Yes, yes, yes. One more, one more. No, no. I missed again. This has got to be the hardest part, is trying to get up this thing. Now, I don't know if there's an easier way of doing it, but you have to have the two boxes oop, if you want to get the two endings. Now, the first ending is simply go up there try and get into the uh, the top part. Oh gosh, oh gosh, come on, come on, you gotta go all the way up there. Okay, oh, oh come on. Oh man, so close. You have to go all the way up there, and then, oh come on. There's the box, there's the box. All right, over the same. I guess I could jump on that box first to try and get started, couldn't I? So what you have to do is, uh-oh, no box came out, what, or no crate, oh did it get stuck, is it stuck in there? I don't want it on that side. I want it on this side so I can jump up here. And then I can't jump that way. So I'm going to have to wait for the crate. Oh no, the crate didn't drop. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Oh, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Oh. oh. No, 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 that's. Stop. Oh, I should have pushed it back. Darn it. Um, what was I saying? You have to go up to the very top 
and attempt to get to the um, thing. Now, do I have to wait for the crate? I think I have to wait for the crate. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go. And jump, and jump. Jump, please, 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 no. Eh, it's so hard not using a mouse. <laughs> Says the guy that does command line all day long. Oh, come on. What's going on here? All right, drop. There we go. Push. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Please, 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 please. Ah, uh, it's a little frustrating. Wait, can I jump up these? Can not jump up those. No, this is this is the way I have to go. So, drop. Um, once you attempt to get up there, and I don't think there's any way over. Oh, seriously. Can I stop you from coming down here? I cannot stop you. I was wondering if there's a way to like stop the crates. Hmm. Is there any way to block the crate? I wonder. Hold on, can we block the crate? Block the crate, block the crate, block the crate. Stop the crate. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. No, it didn't work. It's gonna pick it up, isn't it? Even though it was tilted and turned sideways, no way to stop it. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Can I hit the other shift key? No, I cannot. Really? All right, get out of the way. Put them down. All right, get up here. Let's do this. Drop you in. <sighs> come on, come on. Get all the way up there. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Come over. No, no. Stop. Okay, here we go. This is this is going to be it. This is the one. Um, you have to jump in or fall into the conveyor and get the cone back on you. Okay, once you have the cone back on you, it will take you back to the very beginning where you will get the whoa ending. A whoa? Who thought it was going to be that popular, you know? Who knew? <gasps> Yay, I got it. <coughs> what we are doing is a different ending. So... If you jump in on this side and get your collar put back on, you get the woe ending. Oh, whoa. <laughs> That's kind of funny. So, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Get up there. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Let me in. Wee. So now, we go back to the beginning and get dropped off without the cone. Or without the, the collar. So we don't have a collar, no collar for us. Yay. Oh, how far along are we? 30 minutes. I mean, that could be an entire episode right there. And I could break it up into... Oh, that is an excellent idea. So you guys will have videos for tomorrow and the next day and the next day. I'm going to split this up into a different setting. Okay. So to do that, 
Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Cone with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end, and watch tomorrow's video because the same thing. Uh, I'm going to record this all tonight, that way I don't have to worry about the videos for the weekend or, or for the rest of the week, and I can enjoy my vacation and have fun and just play and program. Oh, that's awesome. So, I love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. Now, I'm just going to continue on right here. Like, literally, I'm ending the video. Tomorrow's video, you're going to see the outro. You're going to see the intro. And then away we go. We'll have another video. So, love you guys. Outro.